From the outside, this community centre in Tober County Clare may look like nothing more than your run-of-the-mill hall. But for the people who arrive every Tuesday, it bears more resemblance to a coliseum, with hundreds of battles taking place every single night. A 25 card game is the event that takes place, a game many consider the National Card Game of Ireland. I spoke with the game's founder and host, Michael O'Donoghue, and also spoke with some of the regular players on what keeps bringing them back. First started in, in January 1981. And, uh, well, there had been attempts at it before, but they were a failure, but we've, we've been going every Tuesday night since that, all the year round. I, I, I don't know, I enjoy ruling it, but I, I enjoy it. I, it's a, a, an opportunity to socialise with people. And, you know, the countryside has got so thinly populated, you have few chances of meeting anybody. And um, it's just a, a get together, that's all you can call it, like, you know, socialise. Like, and the playing cards help to bring quite a lot of people together. Like, we got to know a lot of our, our people in the surrounding areas as a result of the card playing. We had, uh, it was great for old people. We had one stage last year, we had four people over 90 years playing cards, but some of those passed away, like, in the meantime. And it, it's, in this particular area, there's nothing new. Uh, other social outlets for people of that age, of the older age group, like me, myself. My husband started coming down when we came to live in Shanaglish. And then somebody, the three he was with, someone of them dropped out. So I went down for one night, as I thought, and I'm still coming. See, so if you get first, if you're first, which will you would have the most amount of games, you could have you could win a ham, uh, a roast of beef, or a leg of lamb. And ten tables, eleven tables, sometimes, you know, and it's nice. You could have your dinner next day, or you mightn't have your dinner for two weeks or three weeks, but you, <laughs> you know, you're very unlucky if you don't win something within the week. If you don't get the cards, you won't win. doesn't matter how good you are. <laughs> and you'll have the dispute quite interesting in your place, that, because you could be left with two trumps and your, your mate. <laughs> might have two trumps and didn't stick either, so all this goes on. Fun, it's fun. I learned at home with my brothers and sisters. Here was the start, and then there's Bell and Ruan on a Friday night, and there's a big crowd there too. And we enjoyed that to the last. Oh, I win a nice bit. Very happy with what our win anyway. And what do you enjoy? <laughs> Legs of lamb and roast beef and chops and chicken and all that. Who oh, my husband and Jerry Condon. And have you always been there together? We have, we have, yeah. Who was the fish to be? Oh, the three fish are on right now. <laughs> But if, if you, were, you were to lie on someone to try and keep in the game, who would you go oh, with the best you Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> do you find many young people coming in and playing RTA? No, 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 not really. Um, uh, they're aging right now. Um, we ha there is a stage with young people, in particular in the idea year of, uh, uh, in school, when so, you, you would have a few of them, you know. But uh, unfortunately, they're going to be able to continue afterwards. And why do you think that is? Well, there are so many other factors, you know. There are so many other, and there are so many things they are involved in. You see, if you look around and talk to the people who are playing cards, this is about their only social outlet, you know. And but for young people, um, they have plenty of opportunities. That's how I'm playing cards. Yeah. About ten years, I suppose. And probably, well, since we were young at home, and then. Probably going to these things with my dad since kind of the end of the end of leaving starts onwards. Okay, so you yeah, yeah, it would have been my father, my grandfather would have played cards. So that was back in Limerick. Now we'd have played. Right. We do. So I play with my wife Eva and then Michael, one of the owl lads from here. Um, we've joined up with him now for the past the past 12 months, I suppose. Uh, he's, he's good crack to play with, so we're enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. Well, back, back in Limerick we used to play for money, so there'd have been prize money of a few hundred euro every night. But here it's it's a slab of meat, so a, a leg of lamb or a few steaks or something is <laughs> as good as it gets here. <laughs> and you play with your play with your husband David. Yeah, well, he kind of drags me along. He's kind of the one that likes to get out, so I kind of just do it to please him sometimes. <laughs> People are kind of good in that they don't give out to you if you make mistakes. Um, kind of some parishes would, um, but you kind of stay away from those. So most places you go, they kind of show you how to play and they want to want you to learn. So that's useful. Do you think, like say, young people are playing the game? Why do you think that it's only way to be the players? I suppose cards are kind of dying out a bit now, yeah, so um, I suppose just people aren't learning anymore, they're not being exposed to it growing up, um, so definitely you need a lot of patience and commitment to it and resilience as well because often you go home and say, God, I'm not coming back next week now, we didn't win anything there, or I made loads of mistakes, but once you kind of stick at it, um, it's good, it's, you learn and get better.